to answer you. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, mommy, you can go ahead, ma. Okay, praise God. Hallelujah. So like I was saying, the first thing is the place of prayer. Apart from the decision to become born again, I think the next vital decision in a man's or a woman's life is who you choose to marry. It is very important, who you choose to marry. Because who you choose to marry will be able to make you to go far in life. I've seen where a lot of people lost their lives because they entered into a wrong marriage. I had a cousin that it happened to. He entered the marriage wrongly, but today she's no longer. Because why? She did not ask where. And most things that really cause a lot of our ladies or our men, because why? When they want to enter into the marriage, they need to be sought for. You need to find them. Because it's not all women that are wives. It's not. So it's something that you must dig out for. You must find. And let me still use it to advise our ladies that you are not the one to find a man. Please. Ladies, it is men that is supposed to look for you. When the man look for you and gets you, you have the right to make shakara and tell the man, wait, let me go and pray for you. Oh, what do you want in this relationship? Is it just to go in and come in? Let me tell you, you have been doing going and coming. See, now no man has married you. It is not time for you to talk, for you to know that, yeah, those ones have not been working. Try it another way. Define your relationship from the beginning. I want to see what you want. I want to know what you want. And then you begin to observe. Begin to observe. Check what you need, what you like. Because so many people are in, are in dumb, they are in mess today. Because they were just moved by the, by, 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 the, by lust. Uh, uh, mommy, the uh, mommy, sorry to cut you short. Uh, we we'll have a, we we'll have a caller on the line. Mommy, can we please take this caller and hear what he's going to say, ma? Okay, quick. Hello. 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 Yeah, good, good evening, sir. What's your name and where are you calling us from, sir? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you, sir. What's your name and where are you calling us from? Okay, my name is uh, my name is Casey. I'm calling from UK. From UK? Ah, welcome, sir. Welcome to Clever and True Life Radio, sir. Here in Basilicata region in Italy. You are welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Hello, sir. Yeah, I just want to ask a woman of God um, about, uh, I don't know, but we that is in, U in Europe here, yeah, I just want to know because I've had a similar case and a, a similar case of uh, marriage issues. So I just want her to clarify me on that because um, I, don't, I just want to know if it is advisable to marry a woman that have to, that have a child or a man that have a child before 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 marriage, you know. I just want to know, so let her clarify me so that I will know because I have a, you know, most of the guests here in Europe has children, you know, they are single mothers. So I just want to know if it is advisable to marry somebody that is a single mother. So. Thank you very much. Oh, God uh, bless you. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for the question. Uh, and I believe mommy is in a better position to answer your question, sir. Uh, mommy, okay, praise God. hallelujah, ma. Yeah, I heard the question, praise God. I heard the question. It is in two ways, depending on uh, the person that you saw, if it's a single mother, if she's not married before. Because uh, we have to follow what the Bible said. Me, I will not go anything outside the Bible. That's what is my, you understand? If he's a, she's a single mother, she has not been married before, but she just have a child. And if you know that God has said is your wife, there's nothing wrong with it. Please, you can marry. And if she has married before, please try to know why she left that marriage. It's very important as well, because Bible makes us understand that if you, if, the, only, the only place that somebody can... Uh, can divorce is when maybe you is fornication, adultery. But if there's no other, nothing like that, uh, the, then uh, I don't know. If some, like Bible C said, if you're married to somebody that is unbeliever, he wants to go. He said the Lord is not hold you. If the person lives on our own, live on our own, he don't hold you, he can be married. You understand? It's the first commitment. You can go and check it out. So if 
because the person, because it's a single mother, does not mean that you cannot marry her. If she, she was not married before, she just has kids. Because a lot of people are in Europe, really. They have kids, but they were not married before. And so they have never been married. So they, you can marry. You can marry them. If you see the one that you love, and God has said, go ahead, and you find that the creatures that you really want in her, you can go. You can go ahead and marry. I think I have answered, answered my brother to some extent if, if he's okay with what I said. So there's nothing wrong with that. Somebody having kids before because all those things are what most of our traditions have always been against. They would say, like, where I came from, most, once you say a woman, you already have kids. Ah, no, no, but for me, no. There's nothing wrong with that. God has not condemned them. God has not condemned them. Somebody can make a mistake, and the moment you retrieve back your step, God still accepts you. So if you have kids, and it was, she was never married before, but she has kids. No problem. If it's the will of God, please go ahead. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm. Uh, uh, my brother okay. uh, Casey from uh, UK, I believe uh, Mommy in the Lord has answered the question. And uh, she's really dealing on this same issue we are talking about. Just be online and hear more from her. <clears throat> Thank you, my brother. Hallelujah. So we can continue? Yes, mommy, you can go ahead, ma. Okay, so like I was saying, I was talking to our ladies out there, please, because there was a comment somebody dropped for me that uh, most of our ladies, somebody wrote that most of our ladies lie, lie a lot, because I don't know why a lady would lie. Just like our brother just asked a question. Uh, if you already have kids before, and they, you met a guy that you love, or the guy loves you, and he said he wants to marry you, you have found out that it's the will of God. Why must you lie? Please don't lie to the man. Don't lie to the woman. Make sure you make them know that this was my past life. The Bible said, once you are not a, a, a new creation, all things are passed away. So that's what was your past life. A lot of us have getting past life. It doesn't mean you should hold it to yourself. You are not so, you are supposed to leave those things behind and move on. Don't lie to a man. Don't make, make the man trust you. Because the moment you lie to a man and you, 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 you kind of deceive that man or that woman into that marriage, let me tell you, you will not be happy. You will never be happy. Because once the person finds that, even if he later forgives you, huh? let me tell you, we are human. There will be some things that will come one day. He will not, he will not entrust them on, your, on you. That he will not entrust it in your hand because he will feel that you are not capable because he, he, you have made him to lost trust on you. So as a lady, as a man, open up. Open up to your spouse. What do you have to look for? After you have prayed, now you want to marry. What do you have to look for? Look for the things that you like in a man or in a woman. That is another problem. I, I see whereby some, there was a man that was saying he, li he likes women that are fair. But at the end of the day, he went and married a woman that was dark in complexion. And uh, his eyes is more always going off of women that are fair because it is what he likes. So, please, also know what you like, what you need, need in that relationship, what you need in that marriage. Because if you say, let me because of people are getting married, I want to run into it. So anyone that comes my way, I accept it. It is not what you like. In time to come, you will be irritated. You will not, you will not like it because it is not what you actually want. So before you know, after you have laid it down on the on, on God's way, you also need to. So because what are we saying? Marriage that we are saying now, marriage is of flesh. It's not in the spirit. Anything that is why whenever you suffer anything, you suffer it on flesh. You suffer domestic violence on flesh, heartbreak on flesh. Everything because why marriage is of flesh. You want to flee, you know that that is not actually what you want. Are you getting me? That is yes, where a lot of us. Uh, be infatuated. We follow because we just lost over what we see. The Bible says beauty is vain. But make sure you look. No matter what you say, man, love your wife that he gave his life. That means there's the amount of how your husband will love you. He can give his life for you because he loves you. He will not allow anything that will hurt you or that will hurt him to hurt you. Because why? Two of you have become one flesh. If you marry somebody that does not have the fear of God, he will do you things without thinking. Because why? The fear of God is not there. Okay. I think I'm, you are getting me. Yes, ma'am. We okay. are getting you, ma'am. Marry somebody that has a fear of God. So that at the end of it, anything that comes into the marriage, two of you can stand and fight it. Marriage is something that the devil does not like. It is one thing that... Because what 
a lot of fighting here and there because why? A lot of people have lost it in marriage. They have made mistakes in marriage. So I don't know. My time is almost up. Yeah, mommy. Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, but mommy, you still have three minutes left, ma. Before we round up everything up, ma. Okay. Uh, we can have we three minutes more. Can we use it for prayer? Let me pray for my. Oh, okay, my mommy. Listener, mommy, you, you, you can you, you can leave it on my. Just go to my YouTube channel, counseling with Julia. Leave it there. Or if you want me to drop my number, I'm calling from Spain zero zero three four six three two six five eight five five six. You can leave it with my WhatsApp. I will give a message and I will reply. So please, wherever you are right now, let's just pray. Let's just commit our relationship, our lives into the hands of God. And if you are there listening to me, you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Please, for all these things to be complete, you cannot do it on your own. You cannot do it in flesh. Like I've been saying to you, you need to call Jesus into your life. Just say after me, Lord Jesus. I accept you into my life. Have mercy upon me. I know that I've sinned. I've sinned against you. I accept you right now to be my Lord and Savior. Lead me and guide me. In Jesus' name, I pray. And God bless you. Please, I just want you to pray with me this hour. I just want.